Hi guys, and welcome to part 101 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the most endorsed Skyrim quest mod on the Nexus site, and that mod is Helgen Reborn. Helgen Reborn is one of those mods that has both quantity and quality. There is a lot to do in this mod. It will take you quite a long time to finish the entire quest line. It's easily as long as most of the other quest lines in Skyrim, and it's as polished as anything in the vanilla game. The end result of this mod is the actual rebuilding of Helgen, which in itself is pretty amazing. Helgen is where you start this game, unless you're using a mod <laughs> that alters that. And to come back to this ruined fort, this ruined town, and rebuild it, and turn it into a fully functioning town is an incredible experience. There is something about standing in the yard where you almost lost your head and looking at the tower where Alduin sat and you saw him for the first time and now you're looking at it and that tower is a home, your home. The ruined buildings, the, the tower that you jumped through with that the large hole They've all been repaired. Well, the hole is still there, but the, the burning is gone. And in its place, a thriving community, a town, a town with an inn, with a general goods store, a magic goods store, an alchemist, lots of homes, and even homes running down the hill from Helgen. So the surrounding area is beginning to get built up and is beginning to resemble a normal town. There is something about the memory of running down certain places and certain passages in abject terror and now walking around in a town you've helped build that is hard to explain. It makes it so much more personal. And it's not the first time I have felt that with a mod. And in fact, the times I felt it before were also mods by the same author, Mike Hancho. Those mods were the New Bison Steve Hotel, where you basically rebuild the Bison Steve Hotel to become a thriving casino, a, a place where people will visit and you actually end up earning money on it. And the After School Special mod, which was a mod that allowed you to rebuild the old schoolhouse in Good Springs into a player home. And with the example of the After School Special mod, what makes that house so special is the hours I spent fixing it up. Running off to certain dungeons, certain places to collect the tools and the components I needed to rebuild that, make that house very, very special to me. I mean, it's a fairly simple house, it's pretty functional, but it's more than that. It's a house that I built. And the same is true with the new Bison Steve Hotel. And Helgen Reborn captures that feeling. You helped rebuild this. The quest to actually achieve this is really well done. There are a lot of different aspects to it. You will be doing scouting, a little bit of chatting with certain key figures, and then you'll be wandering off to dungeons and ruins, fighting bad guys, killing undead, doing a whole lot of things. There are at least five dungeon crawls, there's a prison break, and there is even an arena, a place you can become a gladiator or a pit fighter and fight other fighters to the death. Very reminiscent of the arena in Oblivion or Morrowind. The characters that you're going to meet on this quest are actually really well developed. Many of them are very, very believable with pretty well developed backstories and they've got a lot of great and engaging dialogue. <laughs> Marcus Janus. Certainly you all right. What do you want with me? Some of the characters are quite over the top and obvious caricatures of characters you may recognize from certain movies or games, but they're very well delivered and quite entertaining. One of your favorite sons is back home and ready to draw blood. Please welcome to the pit your friend North Warrior, Bald the Impaler! Ooh because they run for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> 
generally the microphone quality is pretty damned good occasionally it's uh, it's not quite as high quality as some others but that's only to be expected in a mod in general the characters the story everything about this mod deliver an experience that's not just fun and entertaining but actually emotional it gives you a feeling of being drawn in to other people's lives and making you a part of it not just the town but the people that make this town real and once it's over once it's finished you get to watch Helgen grow you get to see it over the weeks develop more shops appear more buildings appear and for this town to to take shape and become what looks like a thriving town and to be honest a town that really does fit Skyrim you you would you would look at the town you would look at the way it's developed and you wouldn't realize it was a mod had you not been told oh and, and as an extra reward you do get a player home a, a tower of your own and it's got all the usual things that you would expect a bed a, a living area and of course the downstairs area to store all your stuff your trophy room and a somewhat unusual room where there are statues representing things that you have done so if you've killed Alduin there will be a statue of Alduin sitting on a wall and you can even have animals stuffed and placed in this area I, I didn't actually try that out uh, but you, you know you can actually get the, the place filled with trophies and of course with all of the shops close by this is a very convenient place to live all in all this is an excellent mod it is very very impressive the quest is great it is a lot of fun the NPCs are very engaging the voice acting is good uh, and of course the rebuilding of Helgen itself is amazing it is brilliant to see this new town take shape and of course it's another player home I will warn you you cannot be a pacifist and do this quest mod I'm afraid you have to enter the arena it is part of the quest process there's no way to avoid it I'm guessing that's not a problem for 99% of the people playing because let's face it joining the arena and becoming the grand champion is something we've pretty much done in every single Elder Scrolls game but just be warned before you start the quest if for some reason you're on a playthrough where a character would not want to do that I'm afraid you're going to have to but then it is not as if you can do every single quest in the vanilla game with every single character anyway there are plenty of quests that have things you need to do that certain characters just would not but just be warned in advance with this one that fighting in an arena is something you're going to have to do now I did a full playthrough of this mod and uploaded it to YouTube I will leave a link down below if you want to see it although I do recommend playing it instead it is well worth it and on that note we come to the end of this video I am of course going to end with some of the screenshots that you guys have been posting and as I always say a big thank you for doing that again a link down below if you would like to post images for me to use in these videos and thank you in advance for doing so I look forward to seeing you guys on the next Skyrim Mod Sanctuary or one of my other videos and until then remember as always have fun Oh, <laughs> my